One of the few good things that the Institute seemed to be doing when they weren't trying to, oh, I don't know, create their own Nazi-esque sort of super race, that uh, was of course also going to be a slave race, because why not, you know, bundle everything up into one kind of evil ball. Or, uh, you know, experimenting with super mutants and FEV, you know, the forced evolutionary virus, and, you know, screwing that up, just releasing them into the Commonwealth. You know, they, they did a lot of wonderful things like that. But one of the things they were doing that was really kind of cool was they were trying to recreate animals that didn't seem to exist anymore, at least not locally. And the one that they had success with was the gorilla. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Gorilla so synth? was there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. Yep. Hi. Please don't get any germs on me. Look at this. Synth gorillas. Why would you need a synth gorilla? I mean, other than the, the total coolness. Yes, they made synthetic gorillas. And as a consequence of this, when you blow up the Institute, as you've seen in the previous video. I hit the button hard enough? Oh, that just armed it. Wow. One of the things that you get out of that is that apparently this released all the gorillas. Now, how it didn't vaporize all the gorillas, I have no idea. Because, I mean, you saw the boom. It, here's the, we'll do the boom. Boom. Um... It's, uh, you know, it, how gorillas could basically be pretty tough gorillas. Maybe they were in radiation and high temperature gorillas. I don't know. They're, they're, they're impervious to a lot of stuff. But as a result, one of the bonuses you get is that you can then create a cage to catch your own gorillas. And there are some benefits of this. The first benefit is that they provide happiness to your settlements. They actually have increased settlement happiness by 10 or something like that. Uh, I think that's per gorilla. Um, and the, the, the nice thing about them is they also provide defense. So if anything attacks, the gorillas go after them. Now, I don't know if you need the beta wave emitter installed to make sure that they don't go after your settlers. I would install it just anyway. It looks pretty cool. You know, it's nice having a beta wave emitter up. Maybe it makes everybody a little happier as a side effect. But we have I have set up such a cage at the castle. Let's go check it out, shall we? I think that's worth doing. We'll just... No, we don't want to do anything with markers. Come on, get off of there. Just want to beam over here. Now, I should point out, but before we fast travel here, I have a lot of robots all over the place. And most of them have the personality that I have suddenly recognized. It's not exactly the same voice, but they all talk like they're C-3PO. Which, in one robot, is okay, but when you have a lot of them, it really gets to be grinding. So, a little tip for you. If you're going to make robots, make them go beep boop like R2-D2. That's a much better idea. That's why R2 is the more popular robot. But the reason I'm warning you this is we're going to teleport into a bunch of robots. And here we are. All right. One of the things you might notice is that I moved out the armor uh, display case. Put up some more gun racks. I'm going to decorate that. Move this out. Give myself a little more room. And we did a little bit of addition out here. I thought this was kind of nice just to show off some of the armor. These are just kind of old uh, junk ones. This is the one I got from the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, these I found other places. Uh, this one here is my, of course, the, the one I got from... Uh, what the heck was her name? This is that whole coil unique power prism kind of deal that I wore as my main suit of armor for a long time. And this is the one that I is really my main suit of armor now. It's the leaded jetpack explorer uniform that I used to defeat the Institute. I'm thinking, you know, in real life, the main character is probably thinking, I don't want to stare at this every night. It's not a lot of good memory. So we put it out here. I gave it some rain protection, although it's, it's a blow in on it, but you know. Give it a little sense of occasion. I'm thinking of putting some decorations up on the walls. Yeah, we got plans. So you come over here. Now there's supposed to be a visual glitch that even though you can walk in and out, because it's sparking, that means there may or may not be a gorilla in there. So it's hard to tell. So you, you close that. Ah, see? We got a gorilla. 
It's Megilla Gorilla. I must apologize for the odd noises I'm currently emitting. Um, a consequence of being mechanical. Isn't he supposed to come out? Do we have a dead gorilla? Is he growling? Um, Perhaps if more robots possessed my mercy algorithm, we wouldn't be forced to destroy them. Let's see, maybe if I repair the, uh... Get out of here, get out of there. Come on, let's select it. He's not letting me select it. To reset it. Well, you can get gorillas, but... Okay, um... Let's fast travel out and fast travel back, see if that, or even fast travel internally. See if that unlocks the gorilla. <sighs> if only I'd get a glitched gorilla. Actually, we probably all get glitched gorillas. The cats work. This proving to be quite rewarding. What a fascinating place. Look at this. It just crawls. Is, is it a matter of the beta wave emitter, maybe? Is it a beta wave emitter I glitch? Wasn't aware that roaming the Commonwealth could prove so interesting. All systems are ghosts. I guess we could use this as a... Uh, Start in the workshop. That didn't have any effect. He's still stuck. Oh, we have to come out. Identity confirmed. This unit is He's not moving. Um, let's put the beta wave emitter back just because it seems like a really good idea. Here we got one. Not even next to him, I mean, it's just there. Let's look around for robot components. I wouldn't mind an Okay, let's let's do this. We'll bounce out to Spectacle Island so that we're away from it. And come back. This was kind of like an interesting video for me to make from a personal standpoint. And it's completely glitched out. So I'm just going to tell the story anyway. Even though we're bouncing back and forth trying to make the gorilla work. Uh, but back in the day. I'm talking the mid 2000s. 2005, 2006. Maybe as late as 2007. Uh, I was the leader of the base clan on the freelancer servers of either Get On It down in uh, Australia, or later the Aussie Freelancer server, once it uh, lost its get on it uh, support. And then of course we migrated over to the, the Flu server, where I still play, the, the Freelancer Universe server. But for a little bit, and I'm pretty sure it happened on the Aussie server, because that was when Base and Draco were both allied. And uh, not all of Draco came across to Flu, so they ended up just becoming, we just merged them in the base. But one of the things that Draco came up with, our allies, is the, the, the Draco clan came up with the idea that, you know, base and Draco, we're good guys. We always play. We, we, we defend the players from the complete jerks on the server. That was our thing. If somebody was harassing, you know, say a trader and wouldn't let them leave, uh, you know, a, a space station without money, we'd go and harass them until they, the other guy could sneak away. You know, stuff like that. But sometimes you just want to go and blow off some steam. Well, what do you do? Well, you can make yourself a, a separate pirate clan, but then nobody knows who you are, and blah, blah, blah. That's not any kind of fun. And so it was either Jono or Praxis. I keep having, I'll keep. i have to ask Gretchen the next time I see him. He's told me we had a whole conversation about this. Uh, who came up with the idea? I think it might have been Praxis, but it might have been Jono. Uh, hey, let's come up with a role play where Draco's scientist which was either Praxis or Jono, probably working together, we're going to create some genetically modified gorillas. I'm not making this up. This is 10 years before any of this. Genetically modified gorillas. And that they were modifying to have higher intelligence so they could be the, the, they could fly the ships for us. 
And we, we could just sit home drinking beers and let them go defend the universe. And then the gorillas get loose, steal all the spaceships, and start shooting everybody on the server. And I, one thing I came with this great graphic of like a, a gorilla with extra brains and all this. Oh, it was fantastic. And when we did this, the, the night we did it, we just would fly around. And the agreement was all you could say. in Because we didn't have a voice chat like you do in games nowadays. Freelancers in all games from 2003. Was you'd type the words, ook, ook. Into the oh, this looks romantic. Look at this! Wow, we're just romantically looking around Spectacle Island, with the full knowledge that my other girlfriend is around here someplace with the Grognax axe. Okay, this is a great idea. Luckily, they're into polymory, whatever polyamory, however you say it in this game. But that that's a complete distraction. At any rate, oh look at that! I mentioned this. She walks away. Now she's coming back. But at any rate, so we had a couple good nights with that. It was there weren't as many people on when we did it. You know, but it was fun. You just go, hey, how come you're shooting at me? Ook, ook. You know, ook, 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 ook. And uh, we enjoyed the joke so much to this day uh, when I'm talking with uh, Mr. Bonkers, a.k.a. Pazesco, just chatting online. We close out the conversation saying ook, ook. It's just ook, 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 ook. And we go on to the next thing. So when I when I found out, when, I, when you get to the uh, Institute and you just see the genetically created, you know, synthetic gorillas, I was just blown away and I didn't mention it the video at the time because I didn't really want to lose the moment like I didn't want I want didn't want to pop that much out of character but the first thing I thought of was the good old days and here we have can we get these gorillas in spaceships that was my question now can we get them out of the box that's gonna be the question is this a matter of where I put the cage And by the way, that's a theme that will still go through all of the base stuff. I mean, you know, if you look, if you go into GTA Online and you, you see a base crew logo, it's a gorilla head. Our motorcycle club is the Ook Ook Motorcycle Club. And it has nothing to do with Harambe. This goes way back to this whole concept of genetically created or modified gorillas. Which, you know, we still have fun with to this day. It'd be really nice if we could name the gorillas, but I don't know that we're going to be able to name them. Now let's go see. Was that enough to get the gorilla out of the cage? Well, that's looking encouraging. Um, where's our gorilla? What's that noise? There's so much ground to cover in the Commonwealth. Where should we go next? Did pipes just fall off a wall? I feel like that's a gorilla growling somewhere. Yeah, she fell off a wall. Okay. About that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? Where's the friendly neighborhood gorilla? Proof, radiation yes. Oh, come on. You know, this is this one of the simplest concepts for a, a video I've come up with in a while. Him. There's no one to kill. There's no stress. We I wanted a low stress. Where should we go next? Video now I can't find my gorilla. Here's my son. I surely miss you when you leave, Dad. But it's always great when you come back. That's what you need in this game—a guilt trip. Great. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. If you could find me a hot plate, I'd love to take it apart. I want to try and make something for you. Sure thing, Sean. Thanks, Dad. A hot plate. You don't have a hot plate somewhere in the junk pile? We don't have 70 of them? Ah, I already gave him an alarm clock, so... Somewhere here, there is a gorilla. Or maybe there's not. Maybe we, did, we lost the gorilla somehow? What is a big place? Identity confirmed. Yeah, I mean. Let's see. Gorilla, gorilla. This is a. This is taking way longer to do this video than I planned. Is it hanging around the corn? Is it up on the roof? All right, let's go up to the roof. Okay. Feel well, well rested. 
decided to try to at least sleep a little bit here so that we're not looking for a gray gor a silverback gorilla in the dark. Which must be an interesting thing if you run into one in the real dark. Yeah, here we are. Trying to find the silverback gorilla. Oh, there you are! And I don't think he'd be... Oh, well, he could be up here. He could be anywhere. Let's see. Do you see? There he is! Okay, he's loose! Doop, 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 doop. There goes Donkey Kong. All right, let's go take a look at him in close up. Uh, so much okay, where'd it go? It was just over here. We just, you saw it. It was just here. It wasn't Our moving very fast. It, it was right here. Like, I mean, literally, just... Out here, you got to take things one day at a time. Oh, here we go. Self-diagnostic complete. I'm happy to report I won't be falling apart on you anytime soon. Okay, he's got on a corner. And... What? I trust you're enjoying my company. And fell off. You and I make quite an effective team. Now, why this would make everybody so happy, I don't Everything know. Just a novelty... Hey, look, a gorilla. Plan, well, he's smiling. He's a happy gorilla. No real way to interact with him. You can't go for a ride or something. There he goes. Let's see if he eats a cow. No, just he's just a gorilla. But there you have it, folks. We got ourselves a gorilla. We'll try to get a couple more. How you doing? Just being a gorilla. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, I truth be told, after the last several videos, I thought we needed something a little more up. And I, hopefully this was it. And I'm this... I know, you don't require sleep or food, C-3PO. But... There you have it, folks. Once again, this is the Black Knight. Don't much care for good neighbors. That place is nothing but trouble. He thinks good neighbors nothing but trouble. Have a great night. <laughs> Don't worry. I have no problems assisting with the dis So they say there's a little visual glitch with these, with this, there could be a... The, wow, these robots are annoying. They just talk and they talk and they talk. But what they say is that there's a visual glitch here, so there may actually be a gorilla in here. Let's see. Is there a gorilla? And you have to turn it like back on. Whatever it is we're out here looking for, I'm certain we'll No find gorilla it. yet? I'm afraid I'll be unable uh, to extract Would you like me to go in for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. I can really use an old alarm clock. I want to try and make something. For you. What are you planning on building? I don't know. Whatever I can come up with. I bet it'll be neat, though. So, will you look for one? Ah, look at that. I've got one right here. I promise I'll do something cool with it. I hope it's useful. Maybe if you can't do anything with it, you could sell it to someone. Thanks again, Dad. I mean it. Okay. All right, that's cool. Now, all kinds of robots just roaming around down there. Yeah, the food bots. Who knows? We got a gamma storm coming. All right, let's not film from here. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be one of them days. Just teleport on over to the sunshine tidings. There you go. 
I have to move. I have to set a different uh, start point here. That's put you right in front of the like guns. Can I get some altitude here and see what's... <laughs> that was the last guy. Okay. I guess this is as good a place as any to start my little soliloquy here. One of the few good things that 